The longest days of the year are here. I'm 13 News Meteorologist Matt Sanders. June has the longest days, mainly because the sun angle is so high. We are tilted closer to the sun for the northern hemisphere, and so this is the official start for summer. Now, June, we start off with gaining a little bit of daylight, and then at the end of the month, we actually start to lose it, and then we'll lose it going all the way to Christmas. But how much daylight are we going to gain? Well, we've just got the scraps. We don't gain daylight consistently throughout the year or lose it consistently. It changes every single day the speed of it. So we're only going to be gaining several handful of seconds the next couple of days. But once we get to June 20th, the summer solstice, that's when we start to lose daylight once again. That's the longest day of the year. And then we've got more darkness on the way. Not enough to really be noticeable. You'll probably start to notice more darkness once you get uh, towards really the end of July and August. And we still got a decent amount of daylight even then. So how much daylight you gain is based on your latitude. Farther north you go, bigger gains, bigger losses when it comes to daylight. So this is taking a look at how many minutes you'll gain for the month of June. This is accounting for the gain all the way to June 20th and then the small subtraction that we have at the end of the month. Across much of the United States, it's about six, seven, eight minutes of daylight that you're going to gain by the end of the month. Once again, this is the last month that we gain daylight and then we'll start to lose it really once we go into July. Up to the north, it's about 12 minutes, 11, 12 minutes or so getting close to the Canadian border. The farther south, Florida, parts of South Texas, you guys don't really notice as much of a difference. Still a small gain, four minutes. We'll take what we can get. But let's take a closer look at Indiana. How much daylight we're going to gain by the end of the month? Most of the state, seven minutes. So just a little bit more. Remember last month and a couple months before that, March, one of the biggest daylight gaining months that we've got, we were at uh, 60, 70 plus minutes. So this is just very small. About seven minutes being added for Indianapolis. The farther north you go, once you get a little bit more curvature in the earth, and the sun angle a little bit even higher and it stays longer in the horizon eight minutes and then of course it just increases as you go towards the North Pole but generally about seven to eight minutes of extra daylight headed our way in Indiana a couple more stats for you this is showing you how much daylight we actually have during the day just shy of 15 hours to start the month June 20th is the summer solstice that is the longest day of the year by the time we get to June 30th, though, at the end of the month, notice we go back into the 14 hour club, but just barely 14 hours and 59 minutes. So when you take this addition, we're talking about that seven, eight minutes. Secondly, it's seven minutes and some change with the seconds, but these are kind of rounded to a full minute. One more fun fact for you. Sunsets. Our latest sunset of the year is not June 20th. Rather, it's June 27th. That's when we have the longest sunset, mainly because of the curvature of the Earth. Light actually bends, so even though the sun looks like it's crossed the horizon, we're actually still seeing it a little bit just because the light bent just a little bit. So sunset doesn't take place, the latest one, until June 27th. We're at 918 for our latest sunsets across central Indiana, and that's the case for the entire northern hemisphere. Now, depending on how far north you go, sometimes it goes to June 26th or June 29th, but end of the month for June, latest sunsets, and then we start subtracting how much daylight we have and our darkness time, nighttime, will start to get longer and longer to the point where once we get into September, our nights will be longer than our days once again.